Hello everyone. Uh, today I wanted to do a mock review on my florist uh, corner shop modular. Uh, it's a three-story, four-story modular, or three-story modular with an attic, and then uh, there's an attached greenhouse. Um, this fits on a corner base plate. Um, it matches with the standard modulars. I built it to mirror. Uh, my bag shop so that uh, the same structure same physical structure type and I plan on having a third one um, with the same shape rooftop and then this will go in a row uh, in my city so let's start looking at the outside of this building um, I really like the way that these awnings are done um, they're using the, the triangle grill pieces with some wedges there. Um, the roof is the same as the other building. And then I have the same sort of planters out front. And then the balcony. And then out here we have this awning. I really like this color scheme of the, the light lavender with the lime green. I think it pops out a lot. On this side, it's pretty plain, just tan brown, um, three shades of green in the actual shop. Uh, the back, yep, same, really bland. Uh, and then, since this is a corner sh modular, uh, I was able to put like actual windows on the side of this building, which brings a lot more light into the building. For the roof, I gave it a green roof. I was thinking about putting like some flowers and stuff like this to look like it's actual like green roof that's um, environmentally friendly uh, with plants on top to, to help cut down on uh, your, your heating cost and stuff like that. So I might add a little something like that to the top uh, later. Uh, so let's just start with the greenhouse. Um, the two roof panels come off. Uh, they're, they're not attached with anything, they're just held into place with uh, this door groove, uh, this door rail. Uh, it's the rail that you use to make uh, sliding doors with actual door frames. Um, and it actually, like, it fits in well. It, holds it, it doesn't shake. It doesn't, it doesn't shake at all um, because this edge catching it. This edge here will catch onto, will catch between the two studs and hold it into place. So it, it won't move at all. Um, inside here we have uh, three different planters. Uh, these planters are just studded in with uh, two spots so they're, they're really easy to pull in and pull out. Uh, that makes changing up this display a lot easier, especially if I want to change it up for like winter displays and stuff like that. Um, I'm showing three different types of flowers. Uh, the new style flower with the stud pointed down, the new style flower with the stud pointed up, and the old style flower with the studs up. There's been so much debate and talk um, recently. I, I don't know, within the last like six months I've seen a lot of discussion about this. Why do people like the the old style flowers with the studs facing down? I don't understand this. It's just never been the way it's been in the past. Uh, but uh, that's a whole nother discussion for another time and I might do a video on that. But I'll never understand it. Anyway, uh, going back, we have a florist in here. Um, he's watering the plants. Uh, I really like this water bottle. It's just um, a tap piece with uh, three trans blue, um, trans blue round ti uh, uh, tile, uh, not tiles, um, round plates. But it really looks nice, especially since uh, the bottom two are the dark blue and then the top is the light blue. So it looks like uh, some of the water is being used. This cabinet here is just a uh, 
display cabinet, oh, a storage cabinet with different uh, utensils in here. Uh, oh, I don't have anything it sounds like. But uh, I thought I had scissors in there for cutting the flowers, but I guess not. Anyway, uh, we have a door that leads from the shop into the greenhouse. And then we'll have to take a look at the inside. So here we have the inside of the shop. Um, there's the cash register lady. Uh, she's watering some berry plants that uh, we have on display. Uh, of course she has flowers on top of her uh, cash register. There's some roses for sale. Um, here we have shelving with two potted plants if you want like pre-potted flowers you can buy that or here in these uh, different vases and boxes you can buy pre-cut flowers and different types of uh, bouquets mm -hmm. um, or you can buy bigger bouquets of plants over there lots of different types of plants to buy here we have Groot. <laughs> I don't know why we have Groot, but we have Groot. Um, if you wanted to buy a pineapple plant, you could. And then here we have some more cut roses. Um, and then another potted, potted plant. Um, and in the back, you see the nice uh, glass window. I really like the way that this glass window looks uh, from the outside. I just wish it looked better. On the inside, it's a little too blocky, in my opinion, but um, I like the way it looks on the outside, so I kept that design. Out front here, we have two hanging potted plants. Uh, I really like the way those potted plants look, just hanging there. And then we have uh, this big shrubbery plant type thing, uh, with moss growing on the bottom. I don't know what those the leaves just coming up. Um, here we have uh, the collectible minifig 80s guy uh, coming out with a bouquet of flowers. The stairs to the second floor lead up to uh, this doorway. I don't know if I can get it. Lead up to this doorway, which uh, leads you to the atrium. I'm gonna have to take out the stairs so you can see this part. Um, so we have a little uh, clothing rack here with a jacket and a hat, uh, there's a clock back there. And that's just a little entrance area, walkway. Um, I would love to have like a little closet, but it's so hard to get closets in uh, Lego. So uh, we just stuck with a coat rack. Uh, here's the little kitchenette area. Uh, we got a sink, stove, and a little under cabinet space next to the stove and then two above cabinets. Um, over here is the refrigerator. Uh, this minifig seems to have a pet pug. She's running around the house. A uh, little dining area. Um, some artwork on the wall. Looks like they're reading the newspaper. Um, this little kitchen area looks really nice. Uh, my wife put together the whole interior of this building. Um, looks really nice. Uh, the exterior here uh, is a grill. Um, this looks like she's grilling up a uh, hot dog. And then she has a little garden area right there. Yeah. Oh, that takes us up to the third floor. The stairs to the third floor would come up uh, through there onto this uh, landing and then you have the master bedroom uh, opening up here with a big bed uh, there's a clock on the wall uh, a dresser and then over here we had a clothing rack uh, with some clothes hanging uh, I use these um, castle panel pieces with uh, the holes cut out just to uh, not use as many bricks and uh, it seems to work. Uh, I also used another panel piece right here. It's, uh, it's the angled panel piece for a castle. 
and uh, it's great for this bathroom. It uh, gives it like a little alcove for the toilet. And then over here we have a little tub. And then the sink. Uh, there's some artwork on the wall in the bathroom. And uh, yeah, I really like the way this came out. I really like the floor uh, in this bedroom. I'm using a 2x4 pattern instead of a 2x2 two two pattern and I think it adds a lot um, just to the way it looks. I'm not sure if I can catch it. It looks really good in person. Uh, I'm not sure if the, the camera actually picks it up well enough but I like the way it really looks. So. Um, I said there was a fourth floor attic and you can't really see that from here. How do you get up to it? Well, um, like all buildings in this series that I'm building, um, the attic has a drop down, has a drop down uh, ladder. So the ladder here drops down into the master bedroom and then the their daughter can just climb up and she has her own uh, room. She's got a computer desk, she's, she's a slob though. She just got pizza boxes all over the place, pizza on the table without a, without a plate. She's just a mess. Always on the phone talking and uh, on her computer. But she has a pet bunny. Her pet bunny is eating some lettuce. Uh, and then she has her bed. A uh, small dresser with a uh, snow globe, and then she has some crazy crystal artwork, and uh, she has her snowboard and surfboard and a couple guitars. Um, yeah, I really like the way this building came came together. Um, it looks really nice from the outside, and the inside is fully uh, furnished. Mm -hmm. Oh, one thing to note about this, um, you need to make sure you take off the, the glass of the greenhouse before you take off the building because since these are hanging onto the edge of the hanging onto the edge of the building, um, it tends to flip. I don't know how many times I've done it, but so many times I've just been taking this off without taking off the glass thing and they fall in there and knock off all the plants and it's just a pain. Um, but yep, that's the only thing to note about this. I hope you all enjoyed the, this mock review of my florist. I really love this building. Uh, it's probably this versus uh, my pizza shop are my two favorite buildings. I'm not sure which one I like best. Um, I just love the color and the look of the exterior and the amount of detail my wife put on the inside. It all, it all came together and it looks amazing. Um, yeah, there's nothing on this building that I would change. The uh, only thing I want to add is to the roof uh, just to give it a little foliage so it looks like it's an actual uh, green roof. But that's it. Uh, this is one of my favorite buildings. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, remember to please like and subscribe. Uh, click that notification button for more updates. Coming up next on this channel, um, not sure what it's gonna be. I still have to do the Avengers Tower final review, but I've been saying that for a few weeks and I don't expect to do it anytime soon, so. But that is coming at some point. Um, I have a bunch of city set um, that I put together and I did some review videos on them, uh, speed builds and whatnot. Um, they're mostly cars and uh, trucks and stuff like that that I just want to so that I can put and populate the roads of uh, the city. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I think I might. Yeah, I think that's that's it. Um, so, thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Bye.